Howdy do everyone, it's me Tim Ramirez and tonight I'm going to be doing very unusual content. In this one you actually get to see my face for a change. How about them apples? But anyway, tonight I'm going to be talking about counterfeit consoles, SNES Classics in particular. So right here in my hand, I have a SNES Classic in its box. Now look at it, it looks real, looks authentic. It shows the 21 games that come on it in the back. But don't let this deceive you because this here is a counterfeit version. They have plenty of them out there. So for those of you who plan on or intend on ordering a SNES Classic off eBay or Amazon, be really mindful. You know, you might want to type in authentic SNES Classic. That's what I had to do the second time and that's why I have this one this here is the real deal this is the real SNES classic it this one here is a replica it looks identical look at that and look at the real one very very deceitful all right they may look the same but they're not the same they the same on the outside but not in the inside <laughs> and I'm going to show you all that on part two. But yeah, it's just, it's an awareness video for people who want want to get a SNES Classic. I know they came out back in 2017. I don't know how, exactly how popular they are now, but on uh, the authentic SNES Classics, you could add games to it. You can modify them. You could add uh, emulators to it. On the counterfeit version, you can't. And this piece of shit didn't even come with a power brick. What kind of shit is that? Power brick not included my ass. So I had to use one of my phone, cell phone power bricks to power it. And then when it finally started after about a minute, it took for it to boot up. The box art of each game was the instruction manual rather than the actual box art. And I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about on a second video. So I'm going to end it right here. Peace out. See you on the next video.